As you just heard of the video, um, I am here to announce that uh, our intention to reopen the emergency men's shelter beginning actually Sunday night, July 26th. Uh, the night of Sunday night, July 26th, and Monday, July 27th. Um, that gives us over five weeks to solve the issues that the neighborhood might have. Um, it gives us five weeks to put funding in place, and it uh, gives us that amount of time to address any concerns that we may have regarding the shelter. Um, the issue of homelessness has divided our city for too long. It's been a, a sore spot for too long. And although our church has been on the forefront of this issue for really over eight years, um, it, it's time for us to take the next step. And as a spiritual leader here in Tucson, uh, it's time for me to help bring unity to our city um, and to encourage our city to take action. So with that in mind, I'm calling on our civic leaders. I'm calling on our business leaders. I am calling on the religious leaders and the faith-based organizations. I'm calling on our citizens to join me. Uh, we don't have to let the issue of helping people divide us anymore. So, here are the facts, and I just want to share my heart real quick because I'm going to get to questions. The businesses downtown, they deserve to be able to conduct business without uh, worrying about what things are like around them. They should be able to conduct business the way they need to conduct business. Um, the neighborhood deserves to be able to utilize this park without worrying um, about a sex offender or a criminal causing harm to their, ch to their child. And those among us who need the most help should be able to get that help without being seen as an inconvenience or an afterthought or a danger. And so that is our goal, and I believe all of us uh, can accomplish that. So over the next five weeks, I'm going to lead the effort. I'm going to step up. I'm going to lead, and I'm going to meet with the neighborhood. We've already got a, a meeting set up uh, a week from last, a week, it'll be this coming Wednesday, excuse me, uh, with the neighbors and with uh, the ward, and we're going to work out solutions to keep the park safe. Um, I'm going to be meeting with business leaders. I'm going to be meeting with people around the city to get this done. And I believe that we can dream bigger and act bigger and do something that we have never done before together. Let me talk about funding for just a moment. We're trying to raise $150,000. That's what we're looking to raise, $100,000 for the first year uh, operating expenses. And then $50,000 for things that we need. We need new cots, we need new blankets, we need different things um, around here with, with the building. Some of that will come in in, uh, in kind donations. Some, there might be some organizations that will donate cots and such. So it's possible that all, not all of that will be raised in cash, but, um, but possibly in kind donations. Um, but $100,000 for operations, and I will uh, hand out, there'll be a budget that we'll hand out. I have that in the back room. Somebody will have to grab that for me before we uh, dismiss. And you can see the budget that we are, we're going to work from. Uh, we're calling on the city to join us. Councilman Kasachik is already, uh, has already committed to $7,000 from his ward with the stipulation that I get the uh, support of the neighbors. I think that's a great a great idea, and I'm calling on the rest of the of the city council to do the same thing. Uh, come to the table with, with uh, something from your ward and, and put it on me to get the neighbors' support in order to be able to get that money. Uh, I think that's a great idea. I think uh, businesses need to contribute, and I believe our citizens need to contribute. We're, we are going to be, uh, we've already gone live with a crowdfunding site, um, a crowdfunding campaign. We're going to put that site up on, this, up on the screen. People can go right there to see our, our crowdfunding effort. You can contribute through that site, or you can contribute directly to the church uh, by cash or check if you'd like. Um, that budget, like I said, will be available. We want everyone to know what we're going to spend the money on. So we're going to publicize the budget. You're going to know exactly where all that money will go, how we're going to spend it, and what we're going to do with it. Here's the other major announcement that I want to make. Um, we are committed to uh, going online with a women's shelter within six months of opening this shelter. That's a big deal. That's a huge announcement. Um, we got some things we got to do. We got some things we got to think through. We have to make some adjustments around here. But I am committed to within six months having a women's shelter online on this property. Um, and, I think so. and here's something else I want to be clear about. We're offering up our building, okay? But um, I am certainly open to the possibility that there might be better locations to do this. If there is a business leader that hears this on the news tonight, if there's a civic leader that has a better alternative, trust me, all of us are listening. Um, if there's an abandoned building out there that they want to give us to do a homeless shelter, we'll certainly use it. If there's a school, hint, hint, that um, 
they would like to have us use, we could certainly use that school as well. We are open to that idea, but we're offering our building to be able to do this if there's no other better alternatives. Um, and then the other major component, and then I'll end with this, is uh, I am going to, to raise awareness and to raise money for this project, I am going to uh, go to go on the streets for three days, three nights, four days, three nights, uh, starting next Thursday night. I'm going to eat dinner here with the guys for family meal, and then I am going to live homeless for three nights from Thursday to Sunday. To raise awareness. And, um, I'm going to stay in all different areas. I'm going to stay at Safe Park uh, for, for a while. I'm going to stay in other areas uh, to raise awareness and to really experience what it means to be homeless in our city. Uh, what's that? I can't with you, dude. I'm going to be meeting that. Um, so, uh, and, and I, want to, I, I want to give our city the chance to really see what it's like. I want to put some human faces to this so that they can, uh, through me, experience what it means to be homeless. And I, uh, I think it'll, it'll bring some to it. Um, I'll end that. I'll walk into church on that Sunday and end that right here Sunday morning. And uh, if you want to come and hear my story and what ha what's happened, you can come and uh, be a part of that. Now, what I've laid out is not perfect. Okay, It's not going to solve 100% of the problem. Uh, if, you, if you're looking for perfection, you come to the wrong guy, okay? But, <laughs> um, yeah. but like I said in the video, we should never allow what we can't do to stop us from doing what we can do. Amen. We can do this. I can do this. Our church can do this. We can do this. The city can do this. So with that in mind, I'm going to open questions to the media first so that they can go out and get their stuff together for 6 o'clock, and then I'll answer everybody else's questions. You guys have some questions back there. What, what feedback are you getting from the neighborhood? Um, the feedback is that they're willing to work with me and in solving the problems. Um, I, I'm, I met with a, a city council person today from this ward, and um, we're gonna we're gonna work on the problems. And uh, they deserve to have a safe a safe place for their kids to play. And so we'll do what's necessary. What's gonna happen if the neighborhood doesn't get on board with it? I don't. I don't. Uh, yeah, I'm not in that land, to be perfectly honest with you. What if a business leader gave me a million dollars so I could do it someplace else? So, you know, what if, it really, they're all good people. They want to see this, the problem solved. I don't, I didn't mean to be flippant. I'm just trying to be funny. Um, the, uh, they want to see the problem solved, um, and so they're willing to work. And there's no reason why in five weeks people of good faith can't come up with a solution. So I, I'm not in the what if thing. I just want to, I want, we're going to get it done. Amen, yeah. Um, Well, I want to bring awareness to the, to, the, the, to the issue, and I think a pastor, a local pastor, going out living on the streets is pretty big news. And so I think that will bring awareness to the, to the issue. But also, uh, we need to raise the, the budget. I'm um, calling on the city to be a part, but one of the things I didn't mention was that I think very quickly we could eliminate the need to have the city give us any funds. Let's, let's, we don't need the taxpayers' money. Let's, let's get businesses and let's get um, the, the citizens behind this. Listen, it's $100,000. That's 100,000 100, people giving us a dollar. That's not, that's not that much. That's, that's achievable. Um, so to, I'm going out there to raise the awareness. I'm hoping you guys will publicize it and get the word out so that uh, we can get people involved and uh, can get this yeah. thing funded. Yeah. Is the 150, is that including the women's shelter too? Or is that yes. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that putting the women's shelter online doesn't increase our expenses. So that $100,000, we're going we're gonna to do the women's shelter under that same budget. And please, uh, Kristen or my wife, if you would get those budgets back there before we're done and just put them on that table. And we'll uh, give those to you before you leave. Where would uh, the, the facilities? Would this require new facilities, or are you no. over there? We're, we have to think all that through. Um, right now, as you know, the men are, are right here, so uh, it's going to take some time for us to work that out, figure out what we want to do and how we want to do it. So, but we're committed. To, we have another building up there. We can certainly use that building, but I think we could increase our capacity by probably 25 um, and, and house 25 women just by trying to do it up there. Something the neighbors have mentioned is the, the no limits, no restrictions, come as you are. Right. That's the low demand nature of the shelter, which basically when we say low demand, we mean um, someone can be intoxicated and get into our shelter. Uh, someone can have, have no ID, get into our shelter. Um, what, they, what we don't allow, the only restrictions are they can't be actively using on our property, can't be drinking or, or doing drugs on the property, can't be, raising, can't be uh, causing trouble. Um, some of the ideas, if you've got a couple seconds, I'll tell you, some of the ideas are um, to require the men that are using this shelter not to use the park. Um, and that's something that we've done in the past, and that would mean that any 
issues in the park would be related to people that aren't part of the shelter. Um, that's, that's one issue. Another thing we did was, um, was institute a courtesy team. Now, as I'm answering this question, if there are, I want the guys who, have, who were the regulars in the shelter, if you stayed in the shelter, raise your hand if you're here. Okay, these guys that raise their, they're raising their hands back here too. These are guys that stayed in the shelter with us, okay? Back there. Are, these are guys, can I tell you something? Media, everyone's here. These are the guys we all want to help, okay? These are them. Um, and most of these guys participated uh, at least once uh, in something we call the courtesy team, which we're going to be more faithful to. Um, that was basically these guys going out picking up garbage in the park, um, going down streets, picking up garbage, trying to be good neighbors. These guys want to be good neighbors, and, and what we're going to do is teach them how to do it and get the neighborhood behind that. Um, and these are the guys, listen, these guys right here, I know, every, everyone that raised their hand, I know them. These aren't the guys raised, that are causing the problems in the park, this park. No, we're trying to stop. Yeah, these, these guys are appalled when they hear that stuff. And so, um, you know, I think if the neighborhood can see these guys and, and know what they're about, know that they're the ones that are really benefiting from the shelter, I think it'll be a good thing. Any other specific strategies to get the neighborhood on board? Um, we're, well, the... Talking with the councilman today, we're going to hope that the, the police will do more patrols. We're going to have more police presence in the park. Um, they're going to be cleaning the park more often. From what I'm hearing, those are all things that are on the table. Um, but we'll come up with, with as, whatever the issues are, we'll come up with a solution for it. I'm confident. I know you know a lot of pastors and have relationships with other ministries. Mm -hmm. Have you talked with them, and what are they saying? Well, um, you know, every, there's there's a lot of different organizations that are involved in this um, in this issue, and we need all of them. Um, the Gospel Rescue Mission, I know they they support us, but uh, I can't do what they do, and they can't do what we do. Teen Challenge, of course, my wife works with Teen Challenge; they do an amazing job. Primavera, and Norhouse, all of them fill a role, um, and we all support each other. Uh, what we function as is almost the emergency room function of this, and so. Um, I know we have all their support. We all do things real, uh, real different. The f I, I really do need to challenge the faith-based community, the churches, and, um, and and other organizations outside of the homeless, uh, those who are who are involved in the homeless uh, issue, uh, to get on board. It, whether it, if if you can't support us, do something on on your own. Do something to get involved. Open up your sanctuary. Get involved with us, um, and and let's let rise up as the faith-based community and, and really take action in this issue. Amen. Yeah. Any other questions from the media? How can the citizens get involved in this? Well, a lot of ways. Obviously, you can join us on our crowdfunding site and, and, and give financially, but also, um, even though we're going we're gonna to have staff, we need volunteers that can, uh, that can come and help us uh, be a part of, of, of the shelter. These guys all have to meet a number of guys who were, uh, who were volunteers, so we need volunteers. We need, we need uh, people to come uh, and help us mentor, help us be in these guys' lives. So there's all kinds of ways to get involved, obviously financially, but if you can't financially, we'll get you involved some other way. I'll get to you guys' questions as soon as the media is all done. Will you be documenting your three days on the streets? Uh, as a matter of fact, we will be. Uh, BJ did that great uh, video. is going to be following me around and documenting it, so we will have it on film. Okay, any other media questions at all? Hey, guys, I appreciate you guys coming so much. If, uh, if you have any other questions later, you can certainly uh, come in. You guys need this. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks. All right, other questions? Yeah, and you know, you said that you needed help here, so uh, let me know when you need help. Yeah, I appreciate that. We're all good. All right, thanks, guys. I appreciate I'll it. Qu questions? Any other questions that we can uh, we can address? Yes? Uh, Dr. Dave, to July time. Here, the volunteers are here. We're, we're, we're glad to. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to mention what time church services on Sunday? No, thank you. Yes, I appreciate that. 10:30 Sunday. If you'd like to join us, uh, that's. Any time, any, any week, but specifically on that week that I'll be ending my, my journey, uh, 10.30 on Sunday. Thank you so much for, for that. Any questions? I, also, I want to invite everyone to stay. We're going to be serving a, a, a great meal that was provided by, uh, by Chef John and his crew at uh, Cardon. Listen, we couldn't do what we do without this man and his crew and what he does at Cardon. We are so grateful for that. Yes, guys,